if we are ready. Are we ready, Anna? Yeah. So if you post into chat, we're going to go live in two minutes or one minute, just and then we'll go live at like 12.01 or something. So we're, we're live. Yeah. Okay. So we're live with yep. Playdap's first ever AMA, um, and it's Along With The Gods today, which is our brand newly blockchain upcycled RPG. Yep. Okay, so I think we should start with a little bit about what Playdap is first. So Don, yep. you're our RPG expert, so what is Playdap? At Playdep, we create and publish blockchain games and we run an NFT marketplace where players can buy and sell and trade their NFT items from our games and other games as well. And yeah, we're publishing Along With The Gods and we recently upcycled it to include blockchain and NFTs and we're excited to show you guys what we've done. Okay, so blockchain and Playdep and games, that's that's yep. the simple aspect of it. Yeah. Okay. So. With blockchain, we hear about things like NFTs. Yep. What, what are NFTs? So basically NFTs are non-fungible tokens. They're tokens that represent digital assets that are stored on the blockchain. So if you're familiar with crypto, you should have a basic idea of what NFTs are. And they can represent anything from music, art, in-game items, like certifications, keys. So yeah. So anything that has a, a value to you yep. that could be powerfully owned by you and interesting to yep. be yours guaranteed. That that sounds like a good idea? Yep. Okay. So we've got NFTs and we know they're items and for an RPG that sounds really easy to match up. There's loads of items in yep. RPGs. So why is Along With The Gods good for blockchain and for NFT? So. When you play a mobile RPG, you know how much grinding there is to get items. So imagine if you could actually get rewarded for how much work you put in. So with Along With The Gods blockchain, you'll be able to can actually own and control your game items. It won't be held on a centralized server. You, the player, will be able to actually own the items on the blockchain, which means you can control it and trade it with other players and earn money for your gameplay. So all that grinding I do yep. now becomes not just worth something in the game, but outside of the game. Yeah. Okay. So this is a pretty good example of the play to earn model we're implementing at Play yeah. Okay. So along with the gods is good for NFTs because of the model of collecting characters, yep. collecting items, and the fact that I've put a lot of time into yep. them, so I don't want to lose them. Yeah. That that sounds right. It's all about engaging and rewarding players. Yep. Okay. I like that. That, that sounds good. So we've got Play Dap, and we know it's gaming and it's blockchain and all interconnected yeah um, and before we went live we had a few questions that we collected from people yep yeah. so i might ask you a couple of them and see if we can answer them yep yeah. so let's and do the ama question yeah. yeah and these are the guys that managed to win pla by submitting questions yeah. early and there's still chances for people to win pla yep yeah, we'll be collecting live questions from the chat throughout the stream and we'll be taking some time to answer those later and of course, we're going to reward the people who send in their questions. So send in your questions and see if you get selected and win some PLA. Okay. And so PLA is the token of Playdap. Yep. And it's 
going to be used across all of our games. So yep. along with the gods, our current games that already exist, yep. Dozer Bird, Crypto Dozer, yep. our marketplace. So it's already got value and usability. Yep, you can use them in games and on the marketplace on Play Yep. Okay. So we've got an interconnected system. Yep. And one person has asked already. Um, I read about interoperability. What is that? So, so for interoperability. RPG. Yep. So let's say you earn a hero in along with the gods. It means you can use it in other games and play its ecosystem. And it doesn't have to be an exact one-to-one. -one. It could be what well, your hero in along with the gods turns into a boost in this game or another type of character in another game. So it basically means all your items will be useful in every single played up game. Okay, so interoperability or interconnectivity, yep. it's all about moving things from one game to another. Yep, and finding use of them in every single game, yep. Okay, so not only do I get ownership of an item from all the grinding, yep. which means that it's valuable to me, yep. I now get to move it into other games and get rewards in other ways. Yep. Okay, okay. And so we've had a few more questions, like a very game specific question is what app stores can I get the game from? So at the moment for global users, we're on the Google Play Store and in the future we'll be looking to get along with the gods to as many places as possible. So we'll be looking at launching on uh, as many storefronts as possible. Okay, so right now Google Play Store, yep. I can go ahead and download it yep. and I don't need a yep. super aggressive phone. Oh, we can see it there. Yeah, just go into Google Play Store and search for Along With The Gods and this is it. Okay, and so easy to find. And once I download it, yep. then I have the game, yeah? Yep, it's, you don't need it, it's free to play, so yeah. Okay, and with blockchain games, there's always a lot of things like wallet addresses, on-chain. Yep. Do I need to know all about that before I start playing? I uh, know the great thing about Along With The Gods is that it's a solid game in itself so you can play w without knowing anything about blockchain and you can start the game, get used to it and then get familiar with blockchain. You don't need to know anything about blockchain to get started with Along With The Gods. Okay. So I've also got a good question that says, what differentiates Along With The Gods from other games? And they, they talk about PLA and blockchain so what is it that makes our game stand out compared to other blockchain games? Yep. So first, uh, this is an upcycle game, so it was it's a standalone game in itself, which means the gameplay is solid. So yeah, we've got a good foundation for the game, and then we've added our blockchain features on top of it, and it's seamlessly integrated with PlayDive's marketplace. So this is a full play-to-earn eco like ecosystem within the game, and this is just the beginning. So uh, as we develop the game even further, we'll Develop the play to own model for along the gods even more and they will stand out even more within the current market. Okay, so there's also another question that talks about heroes in the game and we haven't spoken about heroes yep. but I guess we'll ask this question and then we'll talk a bit more about heroes in the yep. game and then we'll hopefully get some more live questions later yep. on. So they say it sounds really exciting this idea of trading characters yep. um, I'm new to the crypto world, so I want to understand it a little bit more. If I have a transcended hero yep. or an epic six star room, do I need Ethereum or PLA or another cryptocurrency to list it on the marketplace? So yeah, we'll explore this in depth later, but the quick answer is uh, you do need Matic to power your transactions. However, right now for all our players, we have a special promotion. Uh, we're going to give you free Matic every time you, uh, for anyone who registers on the marketplace. So it's free to get started and list your items. So I can download the game for free. Yep. I can get to the levels where I have these powerful characters. Yep. And then the first time I need to do any blockchain stuff, it's all free. Yep. We're going to give you free Matic to power your transactions. Yep. So free, free, and free. Yep. That sounds good to me. Yep. Okay. Um, so we may as well talk about characters then, because yep. we've got a little bit in there, we've said the word transcendent heroes, yep. and as our expert, could you tell me really more about characters in the game? Yep, so we'll take a look at the actual in-game, so here we go. So heroes are your basic units and characters in the game and you use them to battle and you'll be able to trade them on the item manager's NFTs. So. 
Uh, let's take a look at what heroes do. So in the game, heroes are divided into five attributes, fire, water, earth, light, and dark. And they also have five classes, tank, melee, ranged, magic, and support. And this gives you a lot of options to mix and match your heroes to create a team and strategy. Okay, so the characters are... I understand those already. I know about tanks and I know yeah. about balancing mechanics. Yeah. So a good classic RPG strategy, good character balancing, that sounds like the core of heroes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, but they said about transcendent heroes. Yeah. So I assume I've got to do a bit of leveling here. Yep, there's plenty of ways to upgrade and customize your heroes in Long of the God. So specifically with Transcending, Transcending is the ultimate transformation of your hero. So when you get it to max level at 6 stars and transcend it with Philosopher's Stones and Gold, it turns into this and it basically unlocks your character's ultimate skills and passives and greatly increases their stats. Okay, so Transcendent heroes are super powerful in the game yep. and they're the ones that can be turned into NFT. Yep, you can turn any ancient god hero that's at max level 6 stars and transcending them will just increase their value even more to players. Okay, so powerful heroes, NFT, I own them, it's free to get them on the marketplace to sell yep. them to other players. I like yep. I, I like it all so far, yep. yeah? Um, but these characters aren't just one and done. Like, how do I get more of them? Like, what strategy yep. do I need? So along with the gods has a bunch of options for players to get their hands on heroes. So we'll take a look at the temple of heroes here. One way to obtain a hero is to use summon scroll at the temple of heroes and these scrolls contain a random hero. And you can see here, we've got Kongbi. And we also have other ways to obtain heroes. Hero combination is a great way. So basically as long as you have the material heroes, you can get that hero guaranteed. And we also have hero synthesis. So you basically, it's a randomizer where you select heroes to sacrifice and then it spits out a random hero for you. And certain scenario stages in the story mode also give out heroes as rewards. So there's plenty of ways for players to get their hands on characters. Okay, so I can get characters and then I level them up yep. and then I get them into NFT. Yep. Okay, and we've talked about very briefly, you said I can get characters through scenario mode. Yeah. W what scenario mode? So scenario mode contains a story of along with the gods and it's where new players will want to focus on to level up their heroes. So it's... We'll take a look here at the battle screen. Here you can see information on all your opponents and set your own team and set the formation of your team. And we can take a look at what a battle actually looks like within the game. So basically, yeah, you send out a team of five heroes, mm -hmm. and each scenario stage has three three mob levels and a boss at the end. Okay, so we play through the mob, we get to the boss. Yep. And as you can see here, this is what the battling looks like. You gather energy here, and then you can unleash your special skills. So let's aim for the archer here. Okay. And I I see auto battle. Yeah, there. So. I can set this up and do a bit of auto battling yep. to let it get through if I don't yeah, have If you're time. a confident player, you can set it to auto battle and you, you can don't need to use manual controls. Okay. And you seem to be getting through these guys pretty powerfully. Yep. I assume that means you're quite a high level player? Yep. Well, the difficulty is tapered throughout the game, so this is the beginning stage. So the beginners will be able to ease into the game and level up their heroes without running into any roadblocks. Okay. So we're... Yep, once you defeat a scenario stage, you get special rewards and you get EXP for your heroes. Okay, and you said that scenarios could give me heroes? Yep. And that's, I'm guessing, like a the end level, the boss level of that particular yep. scenario. Yep, and you can get accessories and gold as well, and, as well as other rewards. Okay, so once I've done scenario mode and yep. basically beaten it, what other modes are there for me? Like, what can I do? So as you can see here on the village screen, we have a lot of different game modes for players to explore. There are some PvE modes and PvP modes, so whatever your taste is, whether you prefer battling other players or battling bosses, we have you covered. And I think we should 
look at raid mode, which is going to be the most important mode for players after scenario mode. Okay, and why why is raid mode going to be really important? Because this is the best way for players to get runes, which you can turn into NFTs later. Okay, so we now know scenario mode gets me heroes. Yep. And raid mode gets me runes. Yep. Both can be NFT, and yep. both are now, when NFT, fully owned by you as a player. Yep. Okay, so let's have a look at raid then. Yep, so we're gonna have a look at the Numa boss. So you can see the screen here, you can check out his details. He's a fire attribute boss, and he has high attacks, so we want to use water attribute heroes who are strong against fire with high physical defense. So we'll prepare our team. As you can see here, I have strong water heroes and fire heroes for attribute advantage. And here we go. Okay, so we're we're off on a raid now. Yep. And what we're hoping for is to be better than the boss. Yep. And to get a couple of good runes. Yep. So once you defeat the raid boss, hopefully you'll get a rune drop. But before you get to the raid boss, you need to get through three waves of mob enemies with your team. So make sure you pay attention to the raid boss's attributes and characteristics because they're quite difficult. So you will need to have a good strategy and team in place. Okay, so balance your strategy, beat the raid, get runes, yep. runes to NFT, trade them and buy them on the marketplace. Yep. Okay. So, got through the second mob stage there. Yep, and now we're coming up to the boss, Numa. Okay. He looks pretty tough. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily our team is pretty good, so... Okay, so fire attribute boss. I'm guessing we, you've, we loaded it against... Yeah, we put water heroes to... And what heroes with high physical defense. Okay. So as you can see, we're making pretty short work of him. Yeah, he looks scary, but yeah. <laughs> his health has gone down pretty quick. You know what you're doing with your heroes? Yeah, you can conquer raid bosses pretty easily. Okay. So as you can see, we're about to drop his health to zero. There we go. Yeah. That's him done. Excellent. And here's our reward. Let's hope for a good rune. Oh, we've got a rune gemstones. This is what you can use to craft runes. Okay, so still valuable, still yeah. useful. So every time you beat a raid boss, you will, you will get a reward. Yep. Okay. And we've got ancient coins as well. Yep. And they, what can we do with those? So. Along with gods, there's various shops in the game, so we'll take a look at them. They reward you for playing all the different game modes, so special shop. Here we can use our raid rewards to buy certain items within the game. And here's the shop where you can purchase scrolls, gems and gold to help you on your gameplay. And you don't need to use your money, you can use gems you can earn from gameplay as well in the store. Okay, so right now we've got a lot of traditional mobile game aspect yep. so we're playing away and it's, it's really familiar I, I can play this game I, yep. I know I like this the exciting bit is what we've done with blockchain yeah so we've got a blockchain aspect of it haven't we now yeah so what is that so if you're familiar with the game you'll be wondering what this is right here and this is our new item manager so this is the hub for the NFT functionality of Along with the Gods. Okay. And that's that's not in the build that's live right now, but that's coming tomorrow. When? Tomorrow. So, yeah. so make sure you download it and get familiar with the game before it launches tomorrow. So I could play it today, yeah. get some boosters as a new player, and then tomorrow I can start making and yeah. earning NFT. Yep. Yeah. So here you can see that you can transform heroes and runes into NFTs. So you need your hero to be at six stars max level ancient god, or six star runes at plus fifteen level. Okay, you got quite a lot there. I'm, I'm yeah. guessing we're we're being cheeky on the dev build, yeah. So that we know that yeah, we can the devs let me have a bit of a sandbox with the game. So okay, but it's not impossible to get runes and characters. Yeah. We can get them as a normal player fairly quickly. Yep, yep. if you grind raids for a bit you should have even more runes than I have here so I hear there's also going to be some new player events and some blockchain events to to boost players ability as well yeah we'll get into that a bit later but yeah we definitely will be helping our players get to grips with the game and giving them some special rewards for starting the game okay so 
I've now got my hero or my rune, and I yep. want to turn it into an NFT. What, what do I do? So basically, you go to the item manager here, as you can see, and you select the item you want to turn into an NFT. So let's say this rune here, it shows your details. You will need healing ceiling scrolls, which you can buy from the shop. You will need one ceiling scroll for each item you transform. So once we've selected the NFT we want, seal item, seal item manager, make a trade one. Yep. And it will take you to Playdap's item manager site. And here you'll need to log in with a crypto wallet. We recommend Portis. And if you don't have a Portis wallet already, it's pretty easy to sign up for one. Just use your email. And then once you've got a wallet, it lets you log in and you can see here. And the item manager, if I don't have a wallet, yeah. will guide me on creating one? Yeah, it will take you to a prompt where you can create one automatically. Okay, so I don't need to worry about yeah. finding this. Yeah. Once I've picked it up in the game, I can make the wallet and everything I need. Yeah. Okay. And as you can see here, we've done the sealing process and it's been added to our NFT assets in our item manager. So these are all now things that I could trade with other players. Yep. And these are now the unique bit, the extra bit of where it has more value. Yep. So basically you own and control all these and you can do what you want with them in the item manager. So the dev can never take that away. No, it's all yours and it's stored and recorded on blockchain. Okay. So let's have a look at what we can do. So here you can see we have a rune in our item manager. We can convert it to a game item or trade it on Playdap's marketplace. So let's explore the marketplace. And this marketplace is what? Where everything lives? All the runes, all the characters? Yep. So once you sorry, once you get to the website, you need to log in with Portis. So this is where all the NFT items you have can be traded. Mm -hmm. And you said earlier that this is all free. So yep. if I've never used the marketplace before, I'll get Matic, the token, yep. as a little booster, and then I'll be able to use that in yep. this bit here. You don't need anything special to get started. We provide it all for you. So we're logging in now. So yeah, we're just logging in and we're get that logged in. Oh, yep. and you're now logged in. Yep, we're connected. Now we can fully utilize our items on the marketplace. So to sell an item, once you're logged in, you can just click sell, and you're taken here, and you can set it as a fixed price sale or an auction, it can, and you can also select the currency you wish to be paid in, and the asking price. Okay, so that seems really easy. Yep. Like, it took all of, what, two minutes to yep. go from owning the item to listing it? Yep. Okay, and we've got Matic, Waith, and PLA. Yep. And PLA is the token of Playdap, isn't it? Yep. So I could ask whatever price I want. Yep. And then if another player thinks it's a good deal, he can make an offer in whatever currency you've set. Okay. So that's how you list one up. So that's yep. listing. So we put in the price, and then yep. that's all listed, and then anyone could buy it. Yep. Anyone who visits the marketplace can see your item for sale, and if it piques their interest, they can make an offer. Okay. But what if I'm a little bit under-leveled for some of the work that I'm doing, some of the raiding that I'm doing? What if I need something to boost? I could go and get that from the marketplace. Yep. So you can definitely buy items from the marketplace to help you in along with the gods. So you go to select the item you want. There's tons of searches and filters to help you find exactly what you want. So as you can see here, this is what other players have put on sale. So let's say we want an Alexis because we don't have one at the moment. We can select Alexis and then it's for sale so we can make an offer for it. So this is where you go to get a game items you want to use in the game. So this one is currently make an offer. So that, that would need you to offer out a price to tempt the person to sell yeah. it. Okay. But other ones can be very much buy it right away. Now, yep. bring it into your game. So as you can see here, this person has set a set asking price of one magic, so we can buy it now if we have magic in our wallet. 
and once you buy it, it's going to get taken to your item manager. So let's take a look. So I bought it off the marketplace yep. and then it will be shown in my item manager again. Yep. So once you buy an NFT, it will be taken to your assets and then to turn it into a game item, you simply click this, convert to game item. And this is how you send items back to the game to use. Okay. So we've got a successful transaction. So it's all successfully done. So we're now just turning it back into an item that we can use in yes. my game. So once you do that, go to your game. Oh, the game's restarted. So yeah. So basically, the Easy. game item. Yeah. So item manager will take it from the marketplace to the game, and yep. from the game to the marketplace. Yeah. And we're just. Yeah, it's a live stream, things go wrong. Yeah. So we're just resetting the game. Yeah. And then we'll see how to get it from the item manager yeah. into your game. Yeah. Okay. So just finish the loading screen here and then we should be good to go. So when you convert a game item, it will be sent to your inbox here. As you can see, your sealed character or sealed rune has arrived. And this is where you can collect it. And here you need a sealing scroll to unlock the item. Just click yes, and that's it. There you have your item from the marketplace, from your item manager into the game. Okay, and I've done that all on my mobile, like yeah. on my phone. I don't need to go off to a separate website on my computer. I could just do it in 30 seconds from yeah. one thing to another. It's seamless, just on your phone, you can manage all your NFTs and trade them. Okay. Now, earlier we teased a little bit about events. Yeah. But before we get into that, let's see if there's any other questions that have earned themselves some PLA. So looking at chat, we've got a really obvious one that says, really simply, yeah. play to earn. Yeah. Now, play to earn's really hot in blockchain at yeah. the minute. So play to earn is the concept of playing the game and earning rewards. Yeah. For along with the gods, right now, how is play to earn facilitated? How are we doing it? So at the moment, our focus is on players earning NFTs and then trading them to earn crypto. So that's our current play to earn model. However, we will be developing the game even further to develop the play to earn uh, system within play along with the gods. So this is just the beginning. Yeah, we, we had that question right at the beginning that said along with the gods too, yeah. which is exciting, but yeah. scary. And we spoke about how yeah. We'd be upgrading, yep. implementing more systems. Yep. I know for the wider play app system, there's the idea of a ecosystem participation yep. rewards. So the more you're doing in the games and the marketplace, the more you can yep. be rewarded for that time. So it's not just playing a game, it's yep. also being active in community can help. Yep. So that's a good model of play to earn yep. and one that we can build on. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's a nice question for play to earn. And let's have a look. We've got also alongside play to earn. When we list the item, and this is from ZZAG, so this is a good question. When we list the item to the NFT market, can we cancel and get it back to the game? Yep, you can cancel your list listing, but you will have to go through the process of converting and using ceiling scrolls to get your item back. Okay, so we can convert it to an NFT on the marketplace, yep. and then if we decide, oh, we'd rather keep it, yep. just reseal it back into a game item, yep. and then it's back in the item box. Yep. Okay, so you never would lose anything. It's never gone from the game. No. Okay. So that's, that's good. So we know that we're not going to lose stuff. We know that we're not going to seal it, and then it's done, yep. doomed. So we might just suddenly decide we wanted that room back. Yep. That's good. Let's see, we've got... Another one. Any other interesting questions? Uh, well, not a question, but I'm going to read it because yeah. it <laughs> floats our ego. It looks like an amazing new feature. <laughs> Thank you for that. The, the devs worked very hard on it, so yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been hard work by the devs, getting everything upgraded, yeah. changing, um, and basically turning a blockchain, uh, turning a mobile game into blockchain. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're going to read those comments because it makes us look good. Yep. <laughs> um, 
can we develop a game that is similar to Clash of Clans? Now, I don't know if we could make a Clash of Clans game yeah. exactly, but we've got a whole range of play that games. Yeah. Um, there's the current along with the gods, there's Cryptodosa, Dozer Bird, and I know there's a, a metaverse game. Yeah, like Played Up Town. Okay, and what, what's Played Up Town all about? So Played Up Town's built on the Roblox platform and it's going to be Played Up's metaverse. It's on soft launch right now, so you can check it out. <clears throat> and we will be adding plenty of new features and mini games and content to it in the oh. future. Okay, so we have a metaverse game that's being upgraded and expanded. Yeah. Um, and we have a couple of games out on mobile, a game that's due to be blockchain upcycled tomorrow, which yep. is along with the gods. Yep. So this is all very sneak and new, so yep. brand new stuff. So it might not quite be a clash of clans, but we look to make as many interesting experiences yep. as possible. So I, I think that's, that's good, like a good range of games. Yep. So let's see if there's another interesting question. Uh, someone also says, create the Diablo, Diablo 1, 2, or 3. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be great. <laughs> like a really deep RPG yeah. game. Um, don't know if we'd launch it tomorrow. It might take yeah. a bit of time. But yeah, I, with our application of blockchain to RPG, it gives us a good grounding for new experiences. Yeah. So let me check out on one of our external communities. Um, Yes, we got an external question, which says, and this is not game specific, yeah. but it says, is the PlayDap token for sale? And the PlayDap token is PLA. Yeah. Yeah. And you use that to buy NFT, yeah. and you use it for items within the other games in our yeah. ecosystem. So can I get PLA? Uh, yeah, there's plenty of avenues for people to get PLA. At the moment, we're on Uniswap, which is a decentralized exchange. We're on QuickSwap as well. Yep. And for centralized exchanges, we've got we just got listed on Coinbase actually, which is quite nice. Yeah, yeah. Like the second Korean project I believe yeah. to be listed. Yeah. Which uh, is exciting. Um, the second time we're or the second one to be gone, and Coinbase is newly listed. So there's decentralized centralized exchanges yeah. you can also play the other games cryptodose and Dozer Dozer Bird, Bird. Yeah. and you can get it through there yeah. via a exchange yeah okay so that's a little bit more about out of the game but yeah, yeah we've got to talk about that stuff so tomorrow i can play this game i can get nft yeah but what if i've never played the game before like so we've got you covered so let's take a look at the events we'll be holding to help out new players so, yep, this is our NFT launch event we're going to be holding to reward players. So we've got the NFT generation event, the NFT trading event, and the Twitter event. Okay, so three events yep. that are going to help me as a new player or established player. Yep, Every, like any level of player can get rewarded from these events. Okay, and NFT generation, what, what, what that event? What, like in a basic concept? So basically, you just use the item manager to convert heroes and runes to NFT, list them on the play that marketplace, and the more you have on the more you have listed, the higher your ranking. So you can see the rankings and rewards here, and they're pretty generous, right? They're very they're like I'm. I'd be very excited if I. Yeah, two thousand yeah. two thousand PLA tokens for coming first. Yeah, and uh, yeah, like I even see that even if I don't climb the rankings into the top 30, yeah. which is a good amount of people, I still get something. Yeah, even if you just enter once, you get a mythical hero scroll, which gives you a five-star hero in the game. So there's no reason not to participate. Yep, so make one NFT, I get a free item in the game, yep. no matter what. Yep. And I hear there's also a lot of boosters going to be rolled out for players. Yep, to help players generate NFTs, we're going to be giving them a starter pack to help get them up to speed. So we're gonna give, be giving out Prospera Light Shards. So if you, once you collect all of them, you'll get a free Ancient God Hero. So one of the best heroes in the game for free, for all players. You'll also get Evolution Incarnations to help upgrade your heroes, Earth Eggies, and Awakening Incarnations. And this is all pretty useful, powerful stuff yep. just to play the game with. Yep. So anyone who joins and starts playing will receive these rewards. Okay. And this is all going to go up on our community hubs, isn't it? Yep. 
So we have a bunch of community hubs for people to follow. We have our sorry, we have our Moot Lounge, which is our official community hub. And this so, is embedded in the game as well, isn't yep, it? You should a, see a plugin in the game. It's the green circle. And once you click on it, it'll take you to our Moot Lounge. Okay, and all the info when the events are live along with the game tomorrow, yep. we'll see that all there. Yep. Okay. But what if I've never really played the game before or this type of game? What, what, what can you do to help me other than just events and rewards? So as you can see here on our Mootland, we have our tips and guides board. And here you can see guides that are very detailed and like cover every aspect of the game you could possibly imagine. So this is where to go for a new play and you want to learn the game quickly. We have everything from the best heroes to how to beat the raid bosses and how to get through scenario mode. So if I've never played this game, I can get into that yep. guide section and I can get really up to speed. Yep, it starts from basically every level, so from the very beginners to advanced players, we have you covered. And I see there's also some little guides there about general blockchain things, like yep. what, of what it is and what an NFT is. Yep. So everything is in one place, so if you're new to blockchain, we have blockchain guides as well here to explain concepts such as gas. So yeah, if you're new in any way, just head to our Moot Lounge and head to the tips and guides section and you should find what you need. Okay, so guides are all there. Yep. And with raids, they were the way to get runes, which are NFT character, uh, NFTable items. Yep. And I think I'm right that there's going to be a guide about running raids and what raids are useful. Yep. Or could you dish out a tip now? So I'm just going to bring up. Yeah. So yes, we will be publishing a guide for new players to help them generate NFTs as quickly and efficiently as possible. But right now, I'd say the biggest takeaway is to concentrate on raids to get runes. The raids are the best way to get runes in the game, so that's what I'd recommend for players. Okay, so raids would be the best way for runes. We're gonna have a guide about how to get more activity. Yep. And right now, it's available globally, and the NFT update will be available globally. Yep. But there are there is one restriction location yep. currently, um, which is unfortunately Korea. Yep. Yep but we are confident that as the situation progresses, yep. we'll be able to launch the upgrades, the yep. blockchain version of the game, um, once things like age classifications are resolved. Yep. So as the game develops, you should see launching a really exciting version yep. of the game. So that's good. So let's dip in one more time to see if there's any final questions. We've got when update, which we already answered, but we'll say yeah. it again because it's always good to say this stuff again. We'll be seeing the game updating to blockchain tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, that's the big one. Yeah. So that will be the 11th of August tomorrow. Yeah. The game will become a blockchain upcycled game. Yeah. Item manager will release yep. and a whole bunch of events will happen. Yeah. And those events, are they restricted at all? No, nope, they're open to all players. So <laughs> any player can get involved in the rewards yep. and the events, no matter what. Yep. Okay. Now, we've got quite a nice little question here. Um, hi, the arena is crazy. Are you by any chance considering the play to earn system in it? For example, top players to win some crypto. So this would be specific player rewards for winning crypto. Yeah. Now, we can't go into the detail of that too much, but developing more rewards for active players and for tournament style yeah. players, that's something we want to do, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and so we'll see tournament style gaming for played out, not just in Along With The Gods, but yeah. within other things. Yeah. But in the meantime, have you got any like arena tips? So Arena is along with the gods PvP mode and you see here we have a ranking system so the more battles you win the higher you climb and having a higher ranking earns you better in-game rewards and eventually we hope we will be able to integrate that with NFTs and blockchain for play to earn within Arena. 
So my biggest tip for arena players is consider it its own separate part of the game. So heroes that are good for raids aren't necessarily good for arena. So you will need to develop strategies and teams specifically for arena to succeed. Okay. But doing arena mode can get me valuable items in the game, yep. which I'll need and I can use to create NFT characters yep. or like the component parts. Yep. So scrolls for heroes yep. and upgrades that you can use to make your heroes more powerful. Yep. So yep. these are rewards from arena you're seeing on screen. Okay. And we've got one final question that I'm going to dip in and take from our pre-collected questions. Yes. Which is quite a deep question, but one that is interesting. So they, in blockchain games, there's often talk about governance and player ownership on top of that. So they've asked, what do we think on this? Do we have plans for this kind of system? Um, and the, the truth is that we look at it in a way that we can have more player rewards for participation, for eco -ship, eco -ship, ecosystem participation, yeah. um, and player ownership in that model. Like, things like governance tokens are very interesting, but they're quite complex. Yeah. Um, so it's difficult to fully commit to something like that. But more player ownership is the aim yep. and the ambition of PlayDap um, and the ambition of us releasing blockchain games. Yes. So a bit of a deep question, but it is something we're aware of. It's not something we're ignoring, yep. um, but it is not an immediate yep. thing. So where should I go to get all the news and info about Along With The Gods? What's the easiest way? So we have a bunch of social media channels. You already saw our Moot Lounge, which is our main hub. But we also have a Facebook group. So if you're a Facebook user, you can search for the Long With The Gods Played Up Facebook group and join. We also have Played Up Games Medium publication, which has news from all of Played Up's games as well as Along With The Gods. And we also have a Twitter account, which you can follow here for all the latest news and updates. And that's at AWTG underscore play that. Yep. Okay. And as we're on the subject of Twitter, I hear one of the easiest events to win is our hashtagging event. Yep. So you can see here, all you have to do is share your AWTG NFT listings, trades, or anything else about the NFT feature. And then just include the hashtag, hashtag AWTG NFT, so you can see it and we'll randomly select winners to get airdropped to PLA. So it doesn't matter, like, as long as you have the hashtag and it's about uh, WTG NFTs, we, you can win rewards. So anything from just promoting the game to yeah. showing off your NFT item yeah. to, heck, even just screen caps of the game itself can yeah. get you rewards. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So the big thing is new characters become NFT, yeah. uh, runes become NFT, and we use that through the item manager. Yeah. So let's finish up with a little bit more about the easiest way of getting those things, runes and characters. So do you want to run through a scenario mode or a raid again, just to show us that, yep. that what we need to do, like how we put a team together quickly and how we go and get rewarded yep. for it. So to get runes, go to raid, you can see what type of runes the raid boss will drop. So you can see they drop different types of runes and they're also different attributes and characteristics. And for new players, sorry, just go back. So for new players who want to concentrate on level seven raids or above, because they're the ones that drop six star runes, which we need for NFTs. You can see when you go to level six, it drops down, you don't get six stars. So concentrate on level seven and above raids to obtain runes. So level seven and above raids is yep. when I can start getting characters that can be NFT. Yeah, that's when you start getting six star runes, which you will need for NFTs, yeah. Okay, so we're off on another yep. raid here. So there's no limit to raids, is there? No, 
So as long as you have enough keys, which is an in-game energy bar, you can go as many times as you want, so you can obtain as many rooms as you want. You're making short work of those mobs again? Yep. These are basically on trade before the main course, so... <laughs> yeah, two times battle as well. Do it very, yeah. very smooth. Yeah, so if you're going to be, like, playing long, like, long term, I recommend auto battling a lot until you get to the hard battles where you need to manual control. Okay. So we're just going to see off Numa again one more yeah. time. And we'll see if we uh, get lucky with a good room yeah. out of this. Yeah. And again, we're just taking his health down so quickly. Yeah. Because <laughs> your, your team is pretty, pretty OP. Yeah. Almost yeah. gone. He's nearly gone. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Let's see. Our... What do we get? Yeah, we've got a rune here. And unfortunately, it's only five stars. Oh. So we can't turn that into an NFT. But yeah, this is how you're going to get your NFT runes. But you can upgrade runes, can't you? Yep. So to turn a rune into an NFT, it not only needs to be six stars, it needs to be plus fifteen. So you need to go to your heroes, manage runes, and and this is where you can craft runes as well. So. You so you can start generating yeah. runes of high enough value yeah. to be listed on the marketplace yeah. and turn them into NFT. Yeah. And we've got guides on all of this yeah. we? in the game and externally yeah. on our community hubs, Twitter, Moot, yeah. Medium.com, yeah. all of that. We've got a Telegram chat, Discord chat. You can get yeah. involved in any of the communities really easily. Yeah. And there's always questions can be asked yeah. about that. And it's coming out tomorrow with events tomorrow yep. and uh, it should hopefully be an exciting time for RPG players, mobile gamers, yep. anyone interested in blockchain upcycle and anyone involved in the game. Yeah, I'm super excited about tomorrow so hopefully the players are too because yeah. this is going to be big for players. So a big day tomorrow. Yeah. So if there's last call for questions from the chat, if there's a last call for questions, we'll see if anyone's got any burning question? Let's see who wins some more PLA. Because it's the final chance yeah. to win PLA tokens. The final chance to win some token of play app. So we'll give it a second for chat to catch up. And then we'll pick one lucky winner. Ah, we've got one, when can we play on iPhone, uh, we've got another one from, uh, from Chris Boys, possible to get NFTs from accessories or win them in game by playing PvP, uh, when update NFT, when can I use the characters bought at private sale, I think that is the core question. Yeah. Like that's one that's worth answering and rewarding with PLA. We'll dip into some other stuff. Yep. So when can I use an item or a character that I've bought from the marketplace? Basically immediately. So all you have to do is go to your item manager and when you buy a character, you'll go to your item manager. And it'll appear in your NFT assets. So I've gone on the marketplace, I've found the rune I wanted, yep. I've bought it, it will now show up in my yep. item manager. So let's use this Atmos as an example. So once it shows up in your item manager, all you have to do is click convert the game item to send it to the game. Okay, and that just loaded yep. in now. This so is all you have to do, just click convert to game item and then it should be sent to your inbox in game once the transaction goes through. So there's literally, as long as it takes you to press the buttons is the delay. Yeah. So if you can click quickly, you can play it straight from the marketplace to the game, yeah. That's good.
and then your curious convert will be sent here to your inbox. Good. And so that's it. That took us what? Less than a minute, really? Yeah. It's so quick and easy. Yeah. So, so now when I'm struggling on that raid or that boss, I can just go and grab the character I want. Yep. And I can beat it. Like, yep. Excellent. So again, another one of saying, when will the God's NFT be updated? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like the 11th of August. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> You'll get an update ping. You can go and download it from the Google store. Yep. It's really simple. Yep. The answer is tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, last one. Last one. Is it possible to put it down? Is it possible to get NFTs from accessories or win them in game by playing PvP? So, is it possible to get NFTs from accessories? So, at the moment, accessories aren't included in the item manager as NFTs. So, but that is something that can change in the future. And as a PvP, you can't directly get NFTs from playing PvP, but as you saw before, we have special rewards for playing Arena Mode, which is a PvP mode that can help you towards getting NFTs. So you can get the bits from PvP that help you yeah. get NFT, yeah. but not directly win a PvP yeah. NFT off of that other yeah, player. But that's just for the moment, so we can change things in the future as we develop the game and it evolves. Mm. It all comes down to balancing the game, yeah. developing the game in a way that suits what we're doing with blockchain, because there's new opportunities available. Yep. So there's a, a lot of opportunity here. Yep. Um, and right now you can play the game and get used to it. And then tomorrow is the big day, the big yep. launch. Okay. So we've got, yeah, <laughs> tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> the final question, tomorrow. Yeah, yep. it is tomorrow is the live day. The big live day is tomorrow. Yep. So I think we may as well go out on a blaze of glory by kicking Runa, uh, kicking the raid one more time. Yep. Just so we can have a bit of fantasy, a bit of power. Yep. We'll just completely beat him. And then once we've done that, we'll uh, call it a day for the AMA. Yep. You can come into any of our question, any of our communities, Telegrams, our Moot, Facebook, ask questions. Um, and the game is always being updated and changed and leveled and balanced. Things like servers are being implemented when new player but load is high. So it's a commitment. It's not just here's the game and off we go. We've had events running in the mobile phone game version for the last year, yeah. roughly. So we're committed to events and we're committed to making it work for you guys. Let's just watch this final, final mob clear. And then let's, fingers crossed, get a good room. So we want level six room? Yep, you want a six star room to turn into an NFT. So six star rooms, six star heroes. They're the ones that are NFT. Yep. We're close, chipping away. And I think I think you're going to beat him again. To be honest, yeah. <laughs> not particularly close. Yeah. Three times in a row. I think I think we're safe. <laughs> and is our reward? Final roll. Not a room, but we do get a gemstone, so we can craft that into a room. Okay, so we've got gemstones, and again, it's all useful yep. to help us get things that unlock the yeah. NFTs and the ownership of the yep. NFT. Okay. So thank you to everyone who joined the stream and sent in questions. Congratulations on winning some PLA. And make sure to download the game and get ready for tomorrow's big update and get ready for the events that are coming as well. So mm -hmm. get ready to win some PLA in the events from the game. Yep, and we've been asked one final question just about the, the way the, the live stream is run in future. Yep. Uh, will we have captions or will we have some pull out sections from the AMA? Yes, there'll be an archive of the stream on the channel, which will be the long form, which will be around 40 odd minutes long, but we'll pull out sections and put captions in multiple languages. 
So we'll have more than just English over the top, we'll have some subtitles for our player bases in the most prominent regions. So the people want to know how to claim their PLA. If they can handle that via our two admins in chat, which is just about to type. That's admin one, Zan Ziezu, they can help you with getting their rewards. Uh, if you submitted pre-AMA live questions, we have your details via the form and we'll be reaching out that way. But I think what we'll do is we'll pull up just the placeholder and yep. we'll, we'll go moot and we'll just clean up some chat for the next couple of minutes and hopefully see you for another AMA with another game. Yep. So there we go.